to the great room. Are we gonna have a sword fight? Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Are you okay? Okay. Is this video working on? Well, I have this really cool IoT dev kit that we just released, and instead of just doing the normal stuff with it, I thought it would kind of stare at the schematic today and try and reverse engineer it. <laughs> How about you? <laughs> that sounds really interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I'm working with Spark Streaming right now because very often I have a lot of messages that I need to process in real time and do something with them on the fly, like do some aggregations or determine whether I need to do something based on the messages act and react on them. Oh, okay. It kind of sounds like I could use that for this stuff that I'm working on as well. Yeah, if you have any data on these devices that mm -hmm. can be sent to some sort of data ingestion pipeline, you yeah, can totally. consume it in Spark. So yeah, so I even have an example of that. Yeah, do you want to show me? Because I'm going to start taking notes. <laughs> yeah, uh, so I'm using Scala. I'm scared of Scala. Don't be scared. It's a <laughs> functional language that is very user friendly. Okay. So. <laughs> well, I like functional languages, so I'm already sold. Um, awesome. I'm going to take notes on that too, I think. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so for this example, uh, I took the public data from Twitter. Okay. And so I'm basically searching for tweets with a hashtag. Okay. And the stream of tweets is coming into the uh, event ingestion system. It can be event hubs oh, or, right, okay. yeah, yeah. or even Kafka if, oh, you, nice. if you basically want to run it on the data center or on-prem, not in the cloud. That um, makes sense. Um, and then sending, uh, consuming this event stream from Spark Streaming and doing processing. And basically, if it's tweets, we can look at the tweets and determine what is the sentiment of each tweet. And if it's too negative, we can respond to it or help. You know, it's very useful for things like product feedback or That's just awesome. for fun. Hang on, I'm just going to write that down. <laughs> it's awesome. So you're using Scala and Spark Streaming, you said. Yes. And so you take the tweets and you ingest them through Spark Streaming. And then what are you doing after that? Uh, yeah, so I ingest them in Spark Stream, and then I'm using, I'm actually using the machine learning API, oh, cool. cognitive services to detect the language and to determine the sentiment score of each tweet, which can be from zero to one, like the most negative and the most positive. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. And I actually have two notebooks that I can show you in oh, Scala. Oh, awesome. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I can just steal your code instead. That's cool. Yeah, <laughs> as much as you want. So here's the first one. And I already created Event Hub, and I have a Spark cluster running. Gotcha. And I have Twitter connection keys. OK. So I'm connecting to my Event Hub through the open source Event Hub to uh, Spark streaming uh, connector, which mm -hmm. is going to be shown in the next notebook. So and here, I'm just sending each tweet that has Azure hashtag in my Event Hub, okay. which it can be Kafka. So uh, anything is good. Cool. And then here. I am consuming that stream of tweets using the connector that I've mentioned. And we can see what schema we have. So it's binary here because that's the event format. That makes sense. And if we look at the result, here is how it looks like. <laughs> yeah, that looks more like. You're probably familiar like, with that. <laughs> it definitely looks more like an IoT application, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But if we don't know how to read bytes, we can just convert it to string. Yeah. Because I mean, we know that it's a tweet. You, right? you can't just like read straight bytes like from the top of your head. Some people <laughs> maybe can, but like, I can't. Yeah, we want strings with tweets for sure. Yeah, so here you see the actual tweets, right? Okay. Um, and then the useful thing that we can do with it is to get the response from the machine learning APIs, mm -hmm. which looks like this yep. collection of documents. And here I'm defining the types that we can use to work with the API from Scala, much easier, some deserialization code. And I'm having here two uh, useful functions to get the language mm -hmm. and to get the sentiment. And we need the language to get the sentiment oh, to call okay. the API. Yeah, that was totally my next question. That's yeah, awesome. yeah. Uh, so basically, and we need a user-defined function in Spark to basically send a, com a column of data. So here we have content column. Mm -hmm. uh, and each row will be sent to the UDF function. Okay. And it will just do all the work. So call nice. the API and return the result, right? And then we can just output it into the console to see, like here is some tweets. Mm -hmm. 0 0.5 is pretty neutral, right? Okay. Here is some more positive tweet. Nice. Somebody liked some session <laughs> about Azure. And then um, also we have here, uh, let's see, this information, batch one, batch two, because it's because events are coming in in batches. Oh, OK. Yeah. 
And here's like more negative tweets. Sorry, we're having trouble signing in. Like oh, no. we can, we could react on that tweet and respond that, oh, we can help you here. Yeah, we could go talk to the product team or something. Yeah, this is yeah. nowhere near as scary as I thought it was going to be. This no, is really cool. it's pretty intuitive. And you don't have to use Scala. You can use Python. Oh, nice. Okay. If you're more comfortable with that. Yeah, I know Python probably way better than I know Scala. So that's cool. Yeah, so I think you can totally use that with IoT Hub and sensors. Yeah, right? yeah. So I would probably be able to take sensor data from let's say like a globally distributed like um, set of devices yeah. that are just sending tons of telemetry yeah and so could I use that with spark streaming to maybe do like aggregated averages of temperature readings or something like that totally that sounds awesome and you can also combine multiple sources like if you have sensors and some other information from other sources you can combine multiple sources together and process them as one stream. That's super cool. Yeah. Okay, so this is like another um, tool kind of for my kit to use with like processing the insane amounts yeah. of data we get all the time. I was just curious, can you use uh, Kafka with the IoT Hub? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can because IoT Hub has a baked in, built in um, event hub endpoint anyway. Yeah. And so you can definitely connect that with uh, what's called like a connector, the yeah, Kafka yeah, yeah. connector. Yeah. So we actually have an open source Kafka connector. It is a Confluence certified, which is super cool. Um, yeah. So that's a really easy way to get started with the data coming directly in from IoT Hub. It's awesome that the connector is uh, proven to be working correctly and certified because like, totally. that means you can use data from Cassandra table and then combine it with other sources. Yeah, absolutely. And you don't have to use like uh, Event Hub. You know, you can have your own hosted Kafka uh, yes. instance that way, which is really, really cool. Yeah, it sounds amazing. Awesome. So you're using the um, the language and the sentiment, sentiment APIs. Like what other stuff, like what other cognitive services do you think you could use with these tweets? I could use translation API. Oh, I could yeah, use yeah, cool. spell checking. I could use uh, something like key phrase detection. Uh, there is a lot of stuff that we can use, not with text, like speech or video and audio. Um, emotion API. So there are oh, many, many things that. we can do. And you can go to, I think, aka.ms slash cognitive dash services to basically see the entire collection of APIs available. So I've played with some of the cognitive services, but this actually makes me more excited to go and see what I can do with tweets and stuff. So yeah. um, thanks for showing me this. And I'm actually going to go back and try and funnel some IoT data through this. So that would be awesome. Thank you so much for showing me this. You're today. very welcome.